College students are randomly selected and arranged in groups of three. The random variable x is the number in the group who say that they take one or more online courses. Determine whether a probability distribution is given. If a probability distribution is given, find its mean and standard deviation. If a probability distribution is not given, then identify the requirements that are not satisfied. Okay, so first, let's talk about the requirements. So the requirements for every probability distribution is listed below. First of all, there is a numerical, not categorical, random variable x, and its numerical values are associated with corresponding probabilities. Well, you can see here that we have a numerical value for x, and then it has a corresponding probability for each of them. Next, we want to make sure that when we add up the sum of the probabilities, it should equal 1, where x assumes all possible values. Now, the sum of all probabilities must be 1, but some such as 0 0.999 and 1.001 are acceptable because they result from rounding errors. So let's go ahead and add up these numbers just to check. So we have 0.104 plus 0.358 plus 0.391 plus 0.147, and therefore that gives us a value of 1. So therefore that works. Now it says that um, all the probabilities must be in between 0 and 1 inclusive for every individual value of the random variable x. And that is, each probability value must be between 0 and 1 inclusive. So in this case, it is. So we can then say that, yes, the table shows a probability distribution. OK, now that we've been able to identify that, now we want to do is find the mean and the standard deviation. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so in order to do that, we can see here that we have our values for x, which is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then we have the probability. Now, this is one way of doing it by hand. OK, so what we do is we want to first create a column where we take the value of x and multiply it by each of the probability. So we're going to take 0 and multiply it by 0.104. So if we take 0 and multiply it by 0 0.104, we're going to get 0. And I round it at the three decimal places just to make sure that it's consistent with all the other place values. Next, we're going to take the value of 1 and multiply it by 0.358. So 1 times 0 0.358 is 0 0.358. The next value is going to be 2, and then we're going to multiply that by 0.391. So if we take 2 and multiply it by 0.391, then we get 0 0.782. And again, let's just verify that in our calculator. So if we take 2 and multiply that by 0.391, we're going to get 0 0.782. And then the last one, we're going to take 3 and multiply it by 0.147. So you can see that 3 times 0.147 gives us the result of 0.441. Now, in order to find the mean of this, we need to add up everything in this column. So we're going to add up the first one, 0.000, plus 0 0.358, plus 0 0.782, plus 0 0.441. And therefore, we get 1.581. So when we want to find the mean here, that's going to equal the sum of all these values, which is 1.581. And then in the question, they want us to round it to one decimal place. So we're going to round it to 1.6. And so therefore, we can see that the mean is going to equal 1.6 students. Now we want to be able to find the standard deviation. So in order to find a standard deviation, we're going to continue to the next column. And then next column is, in parentheses, we're going to take the data value, and then we're going to subtract the mean that we got in the second, in the third column here, square it, and then multiply it by its probability. Now, I want to point out here that the mean that we're going to use, we're not going to use the rounded value. We're going to use the mean value that we summed up, which is 1.581. So in our formula, you're going to see 0 minus 1.581 squared and then we're going to multiply it by the probability. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So we're going to take in parentheses, okay, we have 0 minus 1.581, okay, and then we're going to square that, and then we're going to multiply that by 0 0.104. And so I get this value here. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go to six decimal places. That should be far enough for our data. So we're going to go to 0 0.259954. Okay, let's do the next one. The next one, we're going to take the next data value. So we're going to take parentheses 1 minus, again, the mean of 1.581. And then we're going to square that. And then we're going to multiply by the probability of that one, which is 0 0.358. And then that gives us 0 0.120847 if we round that to six decimal places. Okay, next we're going to take the value of 2. So now we're going to take the data value of 2 and then subtract the mean of 1.581 and then we're going to square that and then we're going to multiply by the probability of that variable 2 which is 0 0.391 and now round it to six decimal places gives us 0 0.068644 okay and then the last one here we're going to take the value of the data value of 3 and subtract the mean of 1.581 and then we're going to square that and then multiply it by the probability of 3 which is 0 0.147 and then we get 0 0.295993 rounded to six decimal places. Okay now what we want to do in order to find the standard deviation we first need to add up all of these values in that column. So we have 0 0.259954 plus 0 0.120847 plus 0 0.068644 plus 0 0.295993. Okay, so then we get that, that number. Now I'm going to show you here with the formula. Okay, the standard deviation is taking the square root of what we find for the sum over here. So we're going to take the square root of this number. So here, we're going to say second square root and then of that number. So we're going to take the square root of this number here. And when we take the square root of that number, we get 0 0.863388 if we run it to six decimal places. Now in the question, they want us to then round that to one decimal place. So we get 0 0.9. So therefore, in order to find the standard deviation, we're going to get 0 0.9 students. Now, if we wanted to find the variance of this, remember back in section 3.2, in order to find the variance, we would either square this value, which is 0 0.866. Okay, so if we take this 0 0.866388 and then square it, we're going to get 0 0.75, or very similar to that number there. If we take 0 0.9 and square that, then it's going to give us about 0 0.81. So you can see here that depending on how we round that, but that's how we would get the variance. We would square it. But this question is not asking that, but we just want to pay attention to that.